What I've been working on is transforming American chestnuts. Linda McGuigan is working with professors William Powell and Charles Maynard at SUNY ESF to revive the American chestnut tree. It took a long time, but the scientists say they think a wheat gene might be their answer. We've now developed a technique for uh, putting those genes into chestnut, into single cells of uh, in the somatic embryos of chestnut and then regenerating whole plants. The American chestnut tree is valued for the strength and rot resistance of its wood. It is an alternative to the pressure treated wood used today. The tree population was wiped out in early 1900s when a fungus was brought to America by the introduction of Asian chestnut trees. This is the chestnut blight. Professor Powell says the new wheat gene is like a shield. It doesn't actually kill the fungus, it protects it by detoxifying an acid that the fungus produces. It takes approximately 18 months to get the American chestnut tree ready to be planted into the field. It starts as an embryo, then it's moved into a cube, and then rooted into the growth chambers for about two to six months. It's then moved out here to the greenhouse where it stays for approximately six months before it's planted out in the field. Dr. Powell says that this is the scientist's part of the job, but after they put it in the field, it's going to be the people's job to help it repopulate. SUNY ESF alum Chris Dolmer studied the American chestnut in school. He says the tree used to be popular even here in central New York, but now hardly anyone knows about them. It was like one of the greatest ecological disasters in the history of the world because it was such an important and common tree in the eastern United States. Professors Powell and Maynard say they need people to get involved, and they can do so by joining the American Chestnut Foundation. This is Mary Ballinger reporting for NCC News.